It's a game for cage fans. <laughs> sus, 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 sus. Is the evil way sexy? Just take me now. Take me now. Come on. Let's go to the honeymoon. <clears throat> If you're weak to good-looking fictional men who will draw you into gotcha hell or don't want to be spoiled for the common route, better leave now before the localized version of the Chinese mobile game Love Brush Chronicles or for all time captures your heart and your wallet. That, that's the beginning of the game. Wow. <gasps> hmm. Maybe I like to be captivated here though. Oh, acting friendly, are we? Cold. Wait. Oh. Is man, and why is he so sexy? Is the evil boy sexy? <gasps> oh, oh. What's it doing? Um, okay, so we're an aspiring manga writer, and we're now on the ship to our future university. Um, we've been well, I kind of think that those things will become real. Yakamodaisuke, yeah, enter, please. Hello. She's like the soft knight character. Who has been looking after us since our parents passed away. <gasps> Again? Yeah. Okay. This balcony, Uh, how can you be so strong, dominant, ah, uh, confident? He is real. Oh, 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 Boring or sus? Which one are you? Yomi Kosuke, show what you've got. Oh no, the, the prince character again. Why? And even with the cat, like I guess some girls like such things. And here enters Tachibana Shinosuke. He seems like a great guy. Nice, but great, probably. Oh, again, my favorite character. Mm. That voice and that choice of words. Gorgeous. Hmm? Ken entering the stage. There's a whole too rich boy. Definitely with the dark secret. Look at the eyes. Super size. Hmm. It's like rain. Maybe he's even a villain. I called it, I called it, he's a villain. <laughs> Does the game want us to be in love with the night? Both words intertwining. Beautiful friend dancing. Things happening. Those animations and the music. Oh, it's a, such a good mixture. And teacher and uh, why and our knight is looking at us. Is he the true villain? What does he have to do with it? Oh no 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 oh, no 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 no. It's always the soft guys, right? They're always the ones you don't take back in. Oh god. Oh, we're back in the cage. <laughs> I guess I should be horrified. Smile! That damn smile is the king! Fancy! Glad. So kind of the same things happening again with for real. Mm, lucky lucky. Oh no! Oh, like, game, please decide is he evil or hot. Don't mess with me! <laughs> Don't mess with my heart! Oh my god! I decide for hot. There's no other choice. 
Whatever. I follow you. But I act as if I don't. Because I think you like that. <laughs> and he did. Look at this interesting character. Very good. Just take me now. Take me now. Come on. Let's go. To the honeymoon. <clears throat> With these choices. Oh my god. Hilarious. For all the cage fans. It's a game for cage fans! <laughs> okay, sudden twist in mood. So the empire is threatened by the icy butterflies. Um, we can actually fight them with our paintings. Guess that's good. And now Alcade is producing the snow and killing everyone. <laughs> Unexpected twist, to say the least. Um, I thought it'd be a fun Atoma game. It's gonna be fun, they said. It's gonna be a nice dating sim, they said. And now everyone's dying. And Ain is still being super sus. Though he's kinda dead. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, thanks for the hug, but please don't kill everyone. Um, seems like such a sad story all of a sudden. Let's go back into the cage. It was kind of more comfortable there. Okay, so the parallel universe characters took the places of the current ones. It's gonna be fun, they said. I feel scammed. It's so sad. Oh! <laughs> I guess time travel and traveling between the worlds is the solution. And the setup of the game. Okay. It's a good mood again. Let's go. As cute and light-hearted as the story started out, as dark did the common route end. You see, it's a story about traveling different universes to save the world and find out the LI's agenda. And I can definitely see where the King and Clarence are locked in your first run and wonder whether our teacher will turn out as the secret true route because I'm sure he is knee-deep involved in this mess. But it's not only the art and fast-paced story that makes this mobile game unique. As you've heard, this gem is fully voiced, full of choices and what makes it really outstanding for a free-to-play mobile game is that it allows you to fully play the romantic character routes without gacha. What you've seen so far is the common route and after those first few hours or three in-game maps, you can choose to date A or LK. And like in every good Otome, depending on your choices, the story will vary and you will get different endings. And considering how dark already the common wood was, I expect this game to have some pretty dark bad endings as well. And if you're one of the young lads who find themselves with a short attention span or just not as much time at their hands, then the short story episodes will surely come in handy, with the perfect length to play in between train stations. <laughs> what also might be appealing for you is the really quick pacing in which the story is told, so you're sure to never be bored with dialogue that is not leading anywhere. For me it even was a bit too quick as I do enjoy some long dialogue from time to time, but still this quick pacing seems to promise an engaging and action-packed story. So I'm having high hopes for the character roots as in story, like how exactly will the time travel play out, how many worlds will we travel, getting to really know the characters and turning up the romance a notch. As apart from the king there weren't really many romance scenes so far. And I hate to admit, but I think the king is actually my favorite so far. He seems the good kind of bad, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And like every good mobile game, this game as well has gameplay and gacha mechanics. The story segments are interrupted by little battle segments, which are short and can be fully played in auto battle mode. So I don't even have an idea what's going on there. Animations look good, special attacks sound good, and I really appreciate that the battles even are embedded in the story and not just there to justify card collection and gacha outside of the story. Though I also wished for more varied animations or more sexy voice lines in the battles. But how the gacha works is actually pretty cute and also implemented in the story. You draw a card by literally drawing. You get a drawing set, choose the kind of pen, draw the card. 
It's a little addition, but I adore it. It just makes the gacha mechanism feel more organic and connected with the story, which I, as a story lover, deeply appreciate. And what is surely welcomed by gacha lovers is the stunning art of some of the cards. I took the liberty to showcase some cards shared in the Discord for this game, a really friendly and helpful Discord with the many players who have been playing since the Chinese-only release, and who also helped me out a lot making this review. Similar to another fellow blogger, her blog is in Hungarian, but with an interest in unlocalized at-home games and equipped with Google Translate, I'm sure you'll learn some interesting things on her blog. Last but not least, I want to, as always, thank my patrons, who support me unconditionally for all time. Speaking of outside the story, there is a lot to do in this game. Of course, there are the five characters to discover with multiple endings. Outside of the story, you can grind with card battles, grind resources and level up skills. Pretty basic gameplay stuff. As I said, the auto battle is convenient, but just sadly there isn't a skip function yet. So you will have to let the game run in the background for some time, especially after your pet cat gives you some stamina and you have 10 minutes of auto battle in front of you. But there are also more engaging mechanics waiting for you, like the little dating mechanic, where you can choose a place to go on a date, having a little chat, increase affinity and give him gifts. As the game takes place in multiple universes, including a school universe, you can also attend classes together with the characters in order to level up your skills to eventually improve in the battles or clear future events, though this mainly turns out as a waiting game. Then you can walk around the city, talk to random people and the characters to gain inspiration and draw a little sketch. You can then send to a character to make them like you and invite them on a little date. But I don't have the impression that there's a lot of content happening here, like added conversations, but it's rather just another way to increase affection. Another cute way of interaction with the characters is the in-game social media platform that allows you to share your paintings, aka your rarer gacha cards, and then read the comments of the characters. Next to this fake in-game social media. There also is a really cute way to interact with the other members of the community. Of course you have your usual friends mechanic, but the other addition, which is just there to play around a bit and have some fun with the community, are the little like puppet theatres. You can create and share with other players. And it's really cute what some players already created. What also stands out to me personally is the multilingual release. You can choose between Chinese and famous Japanese voice actors, as well as traditional Chinese, Japanese or English text options. So I'm super happy we finally get to play this game in all possible languages. Though I wouldn't recommend this game to beginners in the respective language, as the fantasy vocabulary or more elaborate words are quite a lot and I had to look up a lot in Japanese. But can't wait to try it out in Chinese as well. I think if you're a mobile Otome gamer, this game is pretty much a no-brainer, especially in that the roots can be played without gacha, even makes it a good choice for console gamers, as you neither have to gacha nor lose yourself in intricate battle mechanics. Of course you can gacha and be rewarded with hot illustrations, details about the lore and character stories, or focus on building a strong team to slay the enemies even quicker, but you don't have to in order to enjoy the game, the story and its characters to its fullest. I didn't get too far into the story, but it definitely seems interesting and unique to me. Still, the common route wasn't enough for me to really get to know the characters. I'm extremely eager to dive into the character roots in order to find out their secrets <laughs> and see how the Romans will play out. The friendly fellows in the Discord server told me that there are at the moment five worlds in the Chinese version and everyone who I asked was highly satisfied with the Romans. So I think you should keep in mind that the game is still rather plot focused and could even be played without having an interest in the Romans. So I really can't wait to discover everything myself.